good morning i look so ghostly today oh my goodness but good morning hi how are you i'm danielle this is danielle diaries welcome we are inspiring to inspire you know it if you're looking for some motivation here is the place we real friends here today we got a full day of eating and today is going to be a training day so that means we got some high carbs rolling in and and i am going to share with you guys a macro breakdown it wants to know roughly so i'm going to give you a little rough rough zestimate here okay um it's not going to be exactly like this because um my stuff differs a little bit we're looking at around you guys are going to be shook 23 2348 calories 270 carbs 181 grams of protein and 59 grams of fat i know crazy it's it's probably not going to be it, it's probably going to come in a little bit under i'm not going to lie to you guys because um her counts and my counts it's just like a rough a rough zestimate like i said she kind of just breaks down the meal plan this is my trainer's app okay and she'll kind of just tell me what to eat and then I kind of apply it to wherever it is. So some things are different, some things change. So um, yeah, anyways, it's just a rough, a rough go at it because I know you guys are really interested in seeing the macros. So anyways, today's going to be a full day of eating. We're actually going to work out at home today. We're going to do some shoulders and we're going to do a glute focus workout and we're going to follow up with some cardio. Cardio has changed. We are... Um, what do you call that? We are calorie focused instead of time focused, which is nice. And then we also got to hit 10K steps. That's a new thing that we've added. So yeah, you guys seen, I made my coffee. I've been loving iced coffee. It is 80 degrees here. The windows are open. The sun is shining. We did our lawn yesterday. We're going to barbecue outside today, do some prepping of some meals together. I'm excited. I'm here for it. It's very, very early in the season for it to be this warm here, but I'm not questioning it. Before we go ahead and assume resume our day, I need to have my fiber. You know, you already know. This is this is the MVP. This is the one that's been saving my gut. I think I've been on this now about two years. It has to be about two years. Um, I take it. My dad takes it. Leo takes it whenever he remembers. But this one is my absolute favorite. This is the Bellway Beauty Super Fiber and Collagen. Now. They are selling this in stores I, all over the place. So Walmart has it. Um, I've seen people in some grocers have it. Check it out. I have a code. You can order it. Amazon carries it. I'll save you a little bit of money with them. But I, this one's my favorite as far as flavor and benefits. This is the Bellway Super Fiber and Collagen. It has Psyllium Husk Prebiotic. Now, if you're like everybody else and you're taking a probiotic, which is great. You should take a probiotic. It's really important for your gut health. But in order for the probiotic to do its job, you need a good prebiotic. It's so it absorbs, does its thing, so you're not wasting the money. That's where Bellway comes in and saves the day. So um, it also has collagen, hyaluronic acid. Um, yeah, and the ingredients are really uh, clean. So for two scoops, <clears throat> you're going to get uh, 14 grams of protein. It has, uh, let's see, seven carbs, five fiber, for soluble fiber, it has 15 grams of hydro hydrolyzed collagen, 120 milligrams of hyaluronic acid. Now, I will say this: if you're trying to add in any of the collagen to your like coffee in the morning, this has more, and it's better. The types like one and three, which is really good grades of collagen. So, yeah, and it tastes good. And it's uh, the seed, the ingredients are organic organic psyllium husk, watermelon juice powder, monk fruit ext extract, beet juice. So yeah, it's legit. Um, it says that it helps with a happy gut. I will say that I have a lot of issues with my GI um, and this really does help keep things running smoothly. Less bloating, cause you're not, you know, backed up. Feeling full. I don't ever feel fuller off of it. I know like they say fiber does that. I don't ever feel that way, maybe you do. Stronger hair and nails, absolutely. That's why I prefer the beauty one cause it does help with hair and nails and youthful appearance. We'll go with that. And skin elasticity, which is another thing with hyaluronic acid, helps your skin look more plump and youthful and all the things. So we're fighting hands of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down below. Um, I like to take it before I have my breakfast, slam it back. It's really good. It's really, really good. It has like a very fresh fruity flavor. I have no problems. I don't get bubble guts or anything like that. So some of the stuff in the store jacked me up. It was supposed to like help you go and it had the reverse effect on me. So 
check this out. But all right, we're going to have this and then I'll see you guys back for breakfast. We got to eat breakfast before we work out. Back in it. The kids are off to school. It's 8.52. Benny is going nuts. He's going nuts today. We got the windows open. People are walking. He's acting like he's never seen another human being. And him and the neighbor's dog across the street are having a barking contest. Anyways, we're going to eat breakfast. Having some water. Um, what are we going to have? We're going to have two pieces of turkey bacon, one egg, one English muffin, and banana. And I think that's going to be it. I think we get two bananas, actually. I think I could do two bananas or banana and blueberries. I prefer, I have frozen blueberries. I prefer to have my frozen blueberries in my oatmeal. So instead of doing a banana at night, I do the oatmeal and the blueberries. It's been working. It's still the same macro. So um, yeah, and we're going to have an English muffin. Did I tell you that? We're going to get those out. I'm also cooking for Leo this morning. So... I've been having this. I don't know if you guys have tried. I'm sure you guys have. This is the strawberry preserves from Smuckers. It's really good. English muffin. These are just the plain ones I got from Sam's Club. I want to be honest with you. We have to go back to Sam's or Costco. Probably Costco. Um, because our stock is dwindling. We just came off of, I don't know if your schools do these too. So we had spring break right and then that was the last week of march the whole all three of them were off spring break boom the following week they go to school monday they were off on tuesday because it was election day they went to school wednesday thursday and then they were off again for good friday the weekend and the monday after it was like they were off for a whole two weeks and then Rhea is basically off this whole week of school as well i don't know what's going on there but hold on i gotta fix my hair so i mean they had friends over. It was something. So we went through a lot of our, our groceries, but sorry about my hair, guys. Um, we did get a prom dress. I haven't talked to you guys. We haven't had one of these like sit down videos in a while. We secured the prom dress. She doesn't want me to show it. I mean, I can show the, the actual picture, but she doesn't want me to show the color. But I can't like do that. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. If you guys are in the Chicagoland area, we went to Prom Bay. 10 out of 10 recommend. Prom Bay, um, it's a beautiful dress, a beautiful gown. It's full length gown, very intricate, $300, which I know might be a lot for some people, and I understand that. But there's a place here called Peaches, and that dress probably went for like seven, dollars $800. They have a very wide selection of sizes, and no dress is any more than $400 there. It's in Lombard. Again, Prom Bay. It's only open on the weekends. It's kind of a warehouse, but it was great. You were able to walk around. You could pull the dresses. You get the dressing room for an hour. Size uh, was very was a very wide selection of sizes. I think it went from a size 0 to a size 24. Might be, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I've seen. And you know, those dresses run small anyway. So um, we got the dress. And then we have an appointment next Friday to get it altered. You know, Ray is 411, so we had to get it hemmed up. And then we have to get these um, kind of taken in. So it shouldn't be too bad. We got uh, transportation. My sister's going to do her hair. She wants to do kind of like that Kim K look where she did the middle part, kind of sleep down, and then volume of curls, like kind of waves. It's pretty. We had our nail appointment already. Prom is the 19th. Graduation's the 25th. Graduation party's coming. Like, this is just everything. I actually just made the invitations this morning. So, it's crazy. We are so busy, too. Like, this weekend we have a contillion to go to. Um, we're having a barbecue at my parents on Sunday. And then in May, we got Reyes Prom. We have contillion. We have... My dad's birthday, Mother's Day, uh, Memorial Day, obviously. And then we have end of school year stuff. We're signing Becky up for a cheer camp. So she has that this summer. I got to go get that together. And then June, we have, I say graduations in May. June, we have Rhea's graduation party. We have his cousin's graduation, his, her, his cousin, Leo's cousin's son's graduation party. Ray is going to Taylor Swift. I'm going to see Stevie Nicks. And then I feel like June, we kind of calm down. 
June is just like 4th of July, Leo's birthday, Leo's mom's birthday. Like that's just normal July. But woo! And then in August, I have my cousin's wedding, which is going to be kind of crazy because it's like a whole side of the family I've never met before. I don't I think I told you guys this, that I've actually connected with um, cousins from my bio dad side. Not him, but his nieces and his brother. Um, and she's getting married. And I was invited to the wedding. It's going to be crazy. So I go from like not knowing anything about that whole side to like, having family it is wild it's crazy so yeah let's make this breakfast i'll be right back okay so here is our breakfast i have the banana cut up and i put a little cinnamon on it and then this is a half this is one english muffin cut in half one piece of turkey bacon and oh damn i was only supposed to get one egg okay well i'm gonna take off one of those eggs and give it to leo um whoopsie so you see see things happen but two pieces of turkey bacon i'm only supposed to have one of those eggs and then two bananas a little bit of sugar-free preserves and that my friends is meal number one you know even even me i even make mistakes it's okay everybody makes mistakes but nonetheless this is a uh, meal number numero uno so it's 11 30 and we haven't worked out yet we, we went to the grocery grocery store i had to pick up a couple things um just for like the week or like the next two weeks i had to get like lunch meat for the kids lunches and then I wanted to get some like fresh produce as well. So we're going to do some cooking today. Today it is beautiful. The high today is, or it's already 75 and it's 1130 and it's supposed to be in the 80s today. Like this is insane for us. So Leo is going to pull out the flat top grill. He's going to do some grilling and I wanted to get some stuff because I wanted to kind of do like a mini prep as well so that we don't have to worry about anything throughout the week for the next few days. So we are going to cook up some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. You guys seen that? And then Leo's also making some chicken wings for him and the kids. And then I'm going to make some pasta, just plain pasta because I have that throughout the week. Um, I'm going to make some chopped up potatoes. We're going to cook those up and season them, which is like salt, pepper, garlic. These ones, I got them on sale. This bag was only a dollar. I've had them though, so we gotta use them already. Just a big bag of potatoes, or like a little bag. They're only a dollar. So cut them up, salt, pepper, garlic, probably some fresh parsley on them. And then Leo's gonna make some cactus. I got some corn on the cob for him and the kids. And then we're also gonna have some steaks. So instead of buying like these steaks individually, Leo just picked up this. This is a beef loin, top sirloin, whole cap off. You guys have seen me has seen him trim this before just so wait i don't think so i don't think so i'm sorry he just likes to yell at everybody walking by um but he just trims it up and then we just make a bunch of steaks out of it it comes out really good and ends up saving us money i also picked up a couple watermelon for the kids because they're like up right now and then we're gonna do i'm gonna just cut those up and let them i'm gonna cut up one today and then let them finish that and then Cut up another one in another few days. We got some apples. So again, we're gonna do some light shoulders. I'm really trying to take the foot. I'm still gonna work shoulders, but I'm not going to dedicate as much time to them anymore because my shoulders are very, like they look pretty good. They respond really quickly. If you guys can see, you can see like the round off, but I really wanna focus on like my buys, my tries, back glutes and hams not saying i'm not going to train like quads and everything else anymore it's just i'm going to do a lot more focus on the other parts because i'm very very quad dominant in my legs so the quads are the i'm wearing shorts today ps quads are like the outer part um and i'm very it's they're good up in front but i really need to focus on my hams because that's also where a lot of my cellulite is so i want to focus on training those and getting those to round out a little bit better obviously glutes because i'm very bottom heavy and i want my bottom i want the booty to be round and lifted okay she needs to come up a little bit and then a lot of ab work because i severely severely neglected my abs during my cut because i was exhausted but anyways we're going to do shoulders and a glute circuit today and we're gonna do some cardio. Let's see where our steps are. It's 11.30. I'm back to wearing this watch again. How do I do this again? Nope, that's not it. I think I gotta hit that button. 
because I need to track my steps. We're at 2,500 steps, 2,458. So, um, But for pre-workout, we are going to have the One Up all-in-one pre-workout, and this is in watermelon candy. I'm almost, we're running out, but this is the one. Guys, One Up for me right now is the brand. Like, they, I finally messaged them, and they gave me a code for, it's under Daniela, and I believe it's 20% off. But I've tried everything from them, and I've been buying these on my own money. And I was like, can you please give me a code? <laughs> so at least I could save some money too. But um, yeah, so if you guys want to check it out. But I love their pre-workout. If you wanted to do stimulant-free, they have a stim-free one. But this one I feel like is such good concentration. I feel really, I don't have any crash. I feel a nice tingle. I love this one. It's very, very good. Um, in my pre-workout, I always add in... I just replaced this. This is my second bottle. Um, I usually buy a bottle a month. So I just replaced that. This is the uh, Tropical Mango, and it's a liquid L-carnitine. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, if you, you could do it's a non-stimulant fat burner, diet support, energy, endurance. I love it. I drink this with my pre-workout. Boom. And then always, always, always do your BCAAs. These are BCAAs, EAAs with glutamine and collagen plus hydration. I also have this in the watermelon candy. Is it candy watermelon? Love this. This is another one. I'm, I'm almost out of that. I got to replace that probably. I probably have like another week or so left in this, but I love it. So good, especially if it's hot. You really need to re take your BCAAs. So this is the lineup. So if you guys want to check it out, Daniela, save yourself some money, but Highly recommend. I also have their uh, vegan protein. Now, I did get a question last time where people asked me if I was vegan. I'm absolutely not vegan. But, and there's nothing wrong with being vegan if that's what you want to do. Um, but I cannot do whey protein at all. It gives me a headache. It caused me to be bloated. Like, I had to step away from all types of whey protein. I was doing Premier for a long time, and I had noticed, like, afterwards, like, I was a little... My stomach just wasn't the best. So I've been doing vegan. It's been fine. I could also do egg white. They have, they have an egg white protein as well. Um, I do the banana bread. It's okay. It's good. You know, it tastes really... I don't, like, during shakes, I usually mix it with my oatmeal and it's fine. So, um, yeah, what else have I tried, tried from... They have a workout amplifier. If you have a problem, like, getting sweaty and really getting hyped up, the workout amplifier will have you dripping sweat. That's, like, one of my favorite things to do in the summer is take my workout amplifier, go to the gym, and just sweat. Let it all out. But, all right, I got to get my butt in gear and get my stuff together and get this workout in because I am not very good at working out later on in the day. If I, I have a real bad problem, if I don't work out first thing in the morning, I, like, lose all motivation to do it. So I am getting that way where I just want to be outside and play like the kids. So I got to go. I'm going to get this workout in. Let's go do this. Let's do a playlist to get this workout done. Done. Hopefully, I'll be done by 1 o'clock. It's 1140 right now. Between my workout and cardio, I want to be done by 1. We can start cooking. And then the kids will be home by 320. All right. I had to... I'm wearing these, like, Buff Bunny dupe shorts. You guys remember I did, like, a post on them? They're really cute. They're from Amazon. I'm still learning to love my legs, okay, and like to be comfortable. I'm gonna tell you something. When I was a kid, I went summers. I never wore shorts. Like when capris came out, I would wear capris, but they were basically like mid calf. I never wore shorts, so I was just used to. I mean, I'm running basically naked outside. Excuse me, sir. Damn. Anyways. Ah. <laughs> uh, no shame. Oh, I gotta stop this. Um, but I'm like I said, I'm learning to love it. Okay, and I knew I had to hit my 350 mark, and I was able to hit it at 40 minutes. I was just, you know what, guys? I don't have that that oof, that get up and get them, like get up and get at it attitude, like past like 10 o'clock that I'm done. So it took me 40 minutes to hit my calorie mark. And in order, and I was like, damn, like it's already getting later in the day, so I had to run like the last like four minutes and 45 seconds, but I hit it, I hit it, I hit it. So we're looking good. I mean, we got our workout in. It's my steps looking like, 
steps are good we're at 83 oh we're at 9023 so we'll be over 10k today which is good um i'm gonna make some chicken and i'm gonna have chicken and some avocado real quick just something real small um and then once this food's done we'll eat something a little bit bigger but for right now this will be okay have you guys ordered your food scale yet have you ordered it? If you haven't ordered it, I don't want to hear how you're not hitting your goals. Um, as far as also, I want to talk about the training, the two people. I've already, um, I've gotten all the submissions in and whatever comes in until Sunday evening uh, is going to be it. And then I'm going to have, no, I lied, Saturday. And then Sunday morning, I'm going to take the day to fill out everybody's get everybody's macros and get the workout plan sent out. And then from there, if I don't hear a response from the people that I choose, then I'm going to pick somebody up. So this is free. I'm not accepting any payments or anything like that. I just want to like help, you know, see if I could apply what I've learned to others. And I also, I'm not issuing any meal plans. I could help you fix, figure out a meal plan for yourself and how to like kind of break it down. There's a couple good videos, but I'm not offering any meal plans because like people are telling me I'm gonna get sued. And girl, I don't need no negativity in my life, okay? I'm just trying to live my best life. I'm trying to fight the shorts right now. I don't need to fight attorneys. So I'm gonna have four ounces of chicken and two ounces of avocado, and then I'll see you. That'll be meal number two. Damn. All right. Okay. Update on the prep, how we're going. Um, if you guys want to see like a full prep, let me know. Um, I was going to cook tilapia and I defrosted it and I pulled out the bag. It smelled funky. And you know what fish, you can't be playing those games. So I had to toss it and I was really pissed. But nonetheless, um, you got to be careful. I'm not trying to get sick, right? So anyways, um, I have two pounds of pasta cooked up really easy this way because I could just add like sauce or whatever to it or I typically just do like a little bit of like lemon juice or even like a fat free Italian on it and do like a pasta salad but nonetheless I just keep it warmed up even for the kids like I can just heat it up and add some like alfredo sauce or something just a nice easy thing to have prepped up we got chicken this is a boneless skinless chicken thighs with some lemon pepper here are the steaks we got some grilled cactus I made some, these are just um, mushrooms and onions. I just like to grill them. I like to have them with steak. I like to have them with everything. Just a variety for a vegetable. I always do green beans. I could eat green beans all day, every day. I just enjoy them, but I try to like make it interesting. Um, what else do I have here? We still have, like we're gonna make some hot dogs. Those are going on the grills. I'm gonna throw some tetons, teton, whatever sausages. I'm gonna have Leo put some of those on the grill so he'll have those throughout the, the rest of the week. And then, um, what else? So you guys rem remember, I always pretty much eat on plan with the exception of like my weigh-in days now, I'll replace one of my meals with like a treat meal. And that's it. Um, so that's why I like to have all this food prepped because it's easier. And now that it's hot, my house gets so hot and it stays hot because we lack windows. So it's a lot easier for us to prep like this when it's warmer to keep the house cool. So I'm not trying to put the, the AC on because Leo, this man is probably already thinking we need the AC, but that is not gonna happen right now, it's April. So um, I also cut up a watermelon. I have one, it came out so good. And you guys know I love me some watermelon. So watermelon, if you guys can get it right now, is actually pretty legit, it's really good. So. Um, I got that going. Um, I'm going to go run these out for Leo so we can throw those on the grill. I'm going to cut up. I feel like this one's a little bad. I'm going to cut up these cucumbers because I got some lettuce for the girls. And then I could eat these as a snack as well. I feel like these are kind of turning. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm going to do that. Oh, and the potatoes are outside. Let's go see what Leo's up to outside. These are the potatoes. They're just regular, like those golden potatoes. I seasoned them with salt oregano, smoked paprika, and garlic, and just made sure to coat them really nicely. So Leo's gonna do those. Here are some of the wings that he's made. Those are for him and the girls. Him and the girls love wings, so they're gonna have those. And then they're also gonna have corn on the cob, and he's got the wings going right there too. So um, looking pretty good, and we're gonna throw hot dogs on the grill for the kids, and these teeton sausages, and then we have the steaks and everything. So lots of food, just to keep everybody in. Um, bread, you know, and 
you know when the kids they get home they're ravenous and then like by five six o'clock they're starving again so um, we got a little bit before the kids are home we're just gonna get everything ready all right so here is meal number three we have four ounces of steak and then we have 100 grams of pasta i'm gonna put some lemon juice on there and then we have 100 grams of onion mushroom mix and that my friends is our meal I love this. I love having steak with mushrooms and onions. It's like my favorite way. So this is what it is. Let me put you on. I'm going to try to get you guys a better, better view here. But yes, look at that. The mushrooms came out so good. The steak has a nice charcoal on there. And Leo put it on the charcoal grill. Oh, I love, um, I love barbecuing on charcoal. Some people prefer gas. But I think gas is good for like chicken, but for steak, charcoal all day, every day. Came out so good. Okay, we are back. Rhea had student teaching today and she's exhausted. She yeah. was bombarded by third graders. Seven hours. Seven hours, but we're proud of her. All right. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> all right, so here is our next meal for meal number four. So we have some chicken. We're going to have chicken for the next one too, guys, because I told you about. Anyways, so here's the potatoes. Let me just give a better look here. Potatoes, they're a little, they're a little crispy, but they're good. Smoked paprika, guys. Smoked paprika is a game changer. And then we have chicken. That's Melissa Skinless chicken thigh. That is four ounces. We got some cucumber with some lime and tahini. Just keeping it real summery, real light, real, real scrumptious. How do all these like food? bloggers get their presentation so fire and they like hold it and they're like look at my meal is that how they do it i don't freaking know i don't know who i'm trying to be right now let me just put this down okay so how's that look that looks pretty good so yeah potatoes fire cucumbers tahini lime and some chicken meal number four goodness Okay, so here is meal number five. Sometimes what I do is I'll take like, say I get 100 grams of potatoes or spaghetti or something. I'll do like 50 grams each. So right here, I have four ounces of chicken, 50 grams of pasta. Um, this is just under 50 grams of potatoes. I have one thing of, this is a cactus leaf, and I just put a little bit of salt on it. It's really, really good. I, I like to eat them. They're very, very good for you. And then I have a mix of uh, mushrooms and onion and just kind of like a little medley of everything. It's really, really good. And I enjoy it. It's a way to kind of keep things exciting. And that way you don't have to worry about kind of getting tired of your own, you have the same meals, you know? I don't know. If you've never tried cactus, highly, highly recommend. You could eat it like as a, um, if people do like a salsa with it, like a cactus salad. Or you could just eat it like the leaves like that when they have like the pricklies off of them and then just a little bit of lime and salt and it's so good. And the benefits are amazing. So this right here is meal number five. All right, my friends, here is our last and final meal. So um, we've been ending the night with oatmeal. So this is just Quaker oats, one minute oats. Um, we get 30 grams of this. We are using the One Up Natural Vegan Banana Bread um, flavored uh, protein powder. I used 20 grams of this. This one's pretty good. I like it. I Like I said, I've been doing vegan protein because I can't tolerate whey or like casein, casein but um, I might try the next one, the egg white protein. So anyways, um, this is what we're gonna add for our protein source. And then we're gonna take 100 grams of blueberries. Boom, that's our final meal. So that's six meals. Um, so like you said, I said, I'm eating about 2,200 calories a day, 2,300, moving my body. But at this point, we are kind of reversing, meaning we're slowly increasing my food to a point to where we'll see if I gain, you know, and we're just working out and, you know, living our best lives. So if you guys like these types of meals or videos and you want more meal ideas, make sure you follow, stick around, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, friends.